their hero? History is an important part of our curriculum here, so the old kingdom would be valuable. Can any of you tell me who built the ancient pillars at Lookout Point? Yes? The people in the old kingdom, sir. That's right. They once ruled all of Albion, and the ruins of their cities can still be found wherever you go. The kingdom was founded by a great lord named Arthur, who united Albion using the power of the Sword of Eons. But over time, the sword began to corrupt him, and the kingdom fell into darkness. Strange monuments were built to focus the magical power of the kingdom, and terrifying armored figures were summoned to guard them. But at the very height of its power, the old kingdom collapsed, and Archon and his sword disappeared. Happened to them, nobody knows. around Albion. Their tentacles can grow to be over a hundred feet long and are strong enough to crush a ship like kindling. A brave sailor once drove away a kraken by hacking off one of those gargantuan tentacles. But to kill one of the beasts, oh, that would truly be a heroic task. Hello again. What's this? Pale Balverine? Hope it doesn't give them nightmares. Why oh, don't? There was once a lord who thought himself good with an arrow. Until people saw that his lies ran right through to his marrow. Many months in the cells of Bargate he spent, plotting his redemption. Once he was free, he hunted all evil without exception. One day he met his match, a foul and mighty Balverine. He did not die from its bite, but his curse was obscene. He became one of those creatures 
and pale as snow was his fur. To kill him came then a red-caped woman, a true connoisseur. A silver arrow pierced his blackened heart and sent him to his grave. And so he died in infamy without the acceptance he craved. Any books for us today, Hero? Oh, volume two of The Creatures of Albion. Could prove useful in our biology lesson. Ah. <clears throat> now, let us turn to volume two of The Creatures of Albion. Trolls are an ancient race formed from the rock and soil in which they were born. They had the strength of many men and can withstand all but the mightiest of blows. Get too close and they will jump onto the ground with such force that the shock waves can shatter a man's bones. But trolls are also slow lumbering creatures and rarely move. So, if ever you see one, your best hope is to run away. If you're lucky, you won't be crushed to death by the boulders they throw after you. You look like a big clown. <laughs> Ooh, do you have a donation there, hero? Could you spare the northern wastes? The children could stand to learn a little more geography. Thank you, hero. I'm sure we can put this to good use. Do any of you know... What lies beyond the nine seas? Yes? The Northern Lights! Well done, Sue. Legends say that Jack of Blades first appeared there, and that it was the home of a mighty empire. Today, its ancient cities are buried deep beneath the ice. But there are still some who believe the empire will rise again and that the people of the Northern Wastes will awaken when Albion is united once more. You have done our school such a great service. I don't know if we can ever adequately repay you. I do have a little something, and, well, I know it's not much, but the children think you'll love it. We used it in our production of The Mage's Apprentice, but it was a little large for our particular actors. Shirt, find something to suit you. Isaiah's having problems at Orchard Farm. There's a lot of things going on up there. <laughs> 